What's going on YouTube, Kronos here, and welcome back to the PSO2 video. So today's video is gonna be a little bit less formal. It's going to be another installment in our new player's guide series for NGS. We're gonna be talking about augmentation. But before we jump into that, guys, if you're the channel, my name is Chrono. I do content over here on YouTube daily. Would much appreciate to subscribe as we move forward towards that 10K mark before the end of the year. But let's jump into this. So I decided to do this video a little bit less formal than my other videos I've been doing recently for this series. Primarily for one reason. Back in base PSO2, augmentation was really, really irritating. It was really annoying. And I heard from a lot of people who watched my videos or who, even some of my friends who actually watched my video for augmenting, that they really didn't understand it until I went through it from start to finish. Basically showed off augmenting something. Kind of talked about why I did what I did, little tips and tricks, so on and so forth. So I didn't want to remove that going into NGS. Apparently that was the way that a lot of people learned best from base PSO2. So I figured why not go ahead and take that into NGS as well. And to be honest, this video might end up being a little shorter um, overall just because augmentation is way easier in NGS. There's basically no reason why you shouldn't be participating in the augment system just because you can get more or less free power with almost no, um, no cost or, or almost no risk whatsoever. So let's talk about what augmenting is and kind of how to jump into it. So. I also will be trying to include timestamps in the video description as well to the best of my ability. But again, I'm be doing this free form, meaning I'm probably jumping around a little bit. So, you know, apologize in advance. So as always, during my videos, there is an emergency, uh, emergency, not maintenance, but a, uh, a UQ up. It's kind of like my thing. It's, it's basically the form of these days. But um. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be augmenting the new weapon from the event. We're going to be using the Glisten Saber. I know, yes, it's double saber, it's copium, but it's exactly what we're looking for. So first thing to look, take a look at when we're looking at augmenting a weapon is the slots on the weapon itself. Now, in NGS, we start out with a base two slots. The first thing we probably want to think of is, well, we know that our weapons usually have, what, you know, four slots at max. Well, the first thing I have to do is we need to upgrade the weapon. So let's start with doing that first. Now, this is a three star weapon, so you're going to get a little bit of an extra taste in here. We're going to need to limit break this weapon before we can up or before I'm going to augment it. Now, limit breaking is just going to give me the level cap bonus of 40 instead of 30. So if you're looking, if you're working with three star weapons versus four star weapons, you're going to want to limit break them. Basically, the number of augment slots you have is based on the upgrade starting out at two or zero of two. Um, for everything else, getting up towards 20. When you hit up towards 30, you get a third augmentation slot if your weapon can get up to 30. And if you upgrade it to 40, you get a fourth augmentation slot. So very, very useful. We're going to go ahead and limit break this. That way it can go up to 40 from the very get-go. Let's start item enhancing. Now, you're probably gonna notice something. Those of you who are astute will probably notice that I have a bunch of plus 14s. Well, it's intentional. Let me actually show you guys. So we have plus 20 right now. Just broke us. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. My mistake. So at plus tw over plus 20. So actually, I'm going to take one of these off so you guys can see. When you jump over plus 20, you get that third augmentation slot. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that. And of course, it greatly succeeded when I did that. That sucks. But um, at over plus 20, you get that third augmentation slot, which my weapon should now have. Yes. And then over plus... 30 specifically is when you get that fourth augmentation slot. So if it hits, I believe actually if it's 30 on the dot, we're gonna try it right now. Uh, let's see if I have some plus 14s. I'll explain why plus 14s exist in a, another video, but so yeah, at 30 exactly, it doesn't get that fourth augmentation slot. But if we do this, and push it over plus 30, gets that fourth augmentation slot. So that's what we're going for. We're gonna push this weapon all the way up. And bam, plus 40. Now, realistically, I should have probably held off just in case, because if we were to get a great success, it would uh, it would be a wasted experience. But again, that's, that's time for the video. But now we've got our weapon at its four augmentation slots. Now we just need to fill those augmentation slots. Now, I, can we count how many times I say now in one video? <laughs> But augments are pretty simple. You're going to get these capsules as you're farming just general content. Uh, they fall into your inventory. If you have material storage, they fall into your material storage. Now, the way these actually work is each capsule has a percentage increase on them. You can see it has accessory of 
now you can go up to a full 100 percent i'm sorry up to a full 100 percent on 10 percent success rate capsules because you can use 10 capsules of each type so say i want to use stamina i can use 10 staminas i can't use any more than that 10 staminas i can use four stamina twos and four stamina threes if i wanted to but here's the problem with that first off only the stamina one is going to be 100 percent 100 percent you can see the stamina two is 40 percent and the stamina three is 36 percent the stamina two is 10 percent along with it as well but the stamina three is only nine percent so the first thing we have to figure out is what are we going to be attaching to our weapon? So let's look at cost effectiveness. When you're augmenting weapons, you can do this one of two ways. Some people like to go the RNG route versus others who like to just go all in. You can opt to do 10, 10% roll success chances. Realistically, if you happen to hit it within those 10, you luck out and save on materials. However, there is a possibility you could not hit that 10% in 20 or 30 tries. It's just testing the ratios. Realistically, if you're looking at it, you should hit it within those 10 tries, but you know, RNG is RNG. If you can you know, fight against RNG and not have to deal with it, it's usually for the best. So the first thing we wanna do is get stuff that we want on this weapon. Let's say we're looking to just fill the slots, right? Let's see, 10%, 10%, super awesome. So stamina, spirit, awesome. Uh, let's see, we want might on here, great. And then what's the last thing we put on here? Let's say we want a deafness on here, cool, right? So all of these are 100%. What does this look like next? Costs a little bit of money, about a thousand per slot, I believe. Yeah, about a thousand per slot. About a hundred per use. I'm actually gonna check one thing too really quick. Yeah, the higher level the augment, the more it costs, it looks like. So ones looks cost 100, twos cost 200. And let me double check one thing here. Yeah, it looks like it seems to, it seems to stay the same across the board. Ones are 100, twos are 200. Threes will probably cost 300, I would have to guess. Um, let's go ahead and say toss deafness on here. So let's see, we, have, we now have four slots that we have in here, but we're only filling four slots overall. What if we were to add a fifth? Well, game doesn't let us go any higher than that. It only lets us go up to four because we can only have four in here in the first place. We're not gonna be able to pick five overall. So it only lets us get four. So we got our four items here. Let's go ahead and confirm. It tells us our success rates. So our success rates are 100, 100, 100, 100. But what happens if we were to fail something? So let's say instead of this, we go one of these. Let's say we're an RNG one slot. See if we luck out and happen to get it. Now, for the sake of this video, I need us to not get it. Just want to talk about why this is actually not that big of a deal. So we've got four here. I'm going to take stamina, spirit, and mind deafness. We've got three at 100% and one at 9%. We'll talk about these in just a moment. Well, we succeeded the three that were 100%, but the 9% failed. Man, that sucks. Now we've got a weapon that's three out of four. We need to add another slot to it. We can talk about upgrading over time. Now, the reason why you always want to upgrade is actually if you look at your weapon, see three out of four, when we go over to add things to it, you can see the list of augments to a fix still has all of the stuff from beforehand. It still has Stam 1, it still has Def 1, Might 1, and Spirit 1 on it. Now, granted, it has Stam 1 on here just because I moused over Stam 1. It's going to take whatever's at the top. But as you can see, as I switch it around, it still has these other ones on here. And the cool thing about it is we'll just use another Stam 3. I keep these at 100%. Even if these weren't 100% to act to a fix in the first place, these remain 100% if I need to continue moving forward. So there is no reason not to just try again and see if I hit it. You can straight up just keep trying this until it works. Oh, didn't hit that 9% again. Too bad, so sad. But we're not going to keep trying that over and over again. You get the idea. Basically, even if you're not 100% finalized on the augments you're going to be using, you can still grab augments and add them to your weapons over time. So let's say, for example, you only had two slots worth of what you wanted on your weapon. Well, you can add those right now and then 
when you get that third uh, enough grinding or you can do enough grinding to get enough capsules for that third augment or sorry that fourth augment you can come back and get that taken care of now let's talk about why you want to try to augment everything at once if you possibly can so let's actually look at augmenting this the way we really want to so well, actually no 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 one thing i want to actually show off first before we do that we have what might one deafness one spirit one okay i don't believe i showed this yet yeah okay so as you can see might one is no longer listed here meaning i can't add it now i know i have my ones let's let's go back and look if we go to our inventory i got material storage type in might we know we have might ones, but it won't let's add any more white ones. So it's because it's already there. Now, each augment does share slots with certain other augments. So oh, we went to the wrong thing. Let's say we wanted to, let's say we finally got enough money to afford to add a better might, right? Let's say we wanted to add might two to this. Well, we can do that. We got, let's say we had enough to get, you know, and might twos. Well, as you can see, these have categories now. The categories are basically taking up the same slot, meaning I can't pick might one and might two. It's gonna make me pick one or the other. These share the same slot. And it makes it fairly easy for you to tell which stuff shares the same slot outside of just having to guess and try it out. Now, realistically, you do have to have the actual augments to try this out on your own. Um, at the time of recording this, I know another content creator friend of mine by the name of Dudley is working on a website to, uh, to kind of go through a lot of this stuff. I'm going to leave a link to his Twitch um, in the video description, so you guys feel free to go check him out. Super, super chill dude. Um, and, you know, doing something we all realistically actually want and need. But basically, you know, augments do share the same slots, so you want to make sure that the augment that you have in that specific slot is what you're looking for, and don't worry too much about it. You can always replace it. The only thing that's gonna cost you, of course, is the capsules overall. Now, Let's say we wanted might two, but I'm sorry, actually, let's let's go a different route on this one. Let's look at going ahead and augmenting what we're looking for overall. So I did have a plan of what I want to augment on this. We've got might three, we're gonna have lightning exploit. And then we do want a soul on here. We're gonna take form soul two. Form soul two is basically the soul I use for melee. Pretty commonly whenever I want to do a cheaper melee augment. Um, Dital Soul is actually a better choice, but it's just the difference of uh, you know swapping out this 2% damage resistance for 5 PP, which is definitely worth it. It's just Dital Soul is very expensive. We're going to talk about what I can do with Dital Soul later in just a bit. So all this and our last one we're going to put on here, I believe was Alt Secreta. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So We've got all the augments we're gonna be looking to put on here. We've got Might 3, we've got Alt Secreta, we have Form Soul, and we have Lightning Exploit. Now, as you can see, not all of these, not actually none of these are 100%. Um, Might 3, Lightning Exploit are both 9% um, capsules, as well as um, Alt Secreta 2 and Form Soul 2 that are 80%. Now, we can do something about that. We can actually see that, you know, we've got categories here. The only thing that's sharing a category right now is, uh, is Might, but uh, we'll go ahead and grab what we want from here. So it's Form Soul. Might, Secret on Lightning Exploit. Doesn't matter what order you put these in, no, but if you ask anyone who augments pretty realist or pretty regularly, they're gonna tell you absolutely. It's always soul first, and then you know, everyone's got a different way of doing it. Some do like you know uh, alphabetical order afterwards, some do order of power afterwards. It just depends on what you're looking for. Realistically, does it matter? No. <laughs> um, but yes. So we've got what we're looking for here all across the board. We can see it's gonna cost is about 7k. It lets us even know that an, um, an equipment augment has not been selected. If you proceed with the augmentation without selecting it, that ability will vanish, meaning that we are going to lose Spirit 1, Might 1, and Deafness, which we're fine with. We just had those as placeholders. We just wanted to put something on our weapon. That way we're getting some benefit. And also, fun point, Battle Power. Battle Power actually increases based on the augments that are used and the strength of the augments. So even if you don't have any augments or you're trying to get higher Battle Power, you can just put anything on your gear Realistically, a higher number is going to go for So, like, if you can, Spirit 3, Stamina 3, you know, those sorts of things. Those augments aren't really very well sought after. They're defensive augments, and they're not really that used. Well, I guess Spirit 3 isn't really a defensive augment. There's just better options for those slots. 
so they tend to be a bit cheaper. It's not a bad idea to go ahead and get those on your weapons and armor. By the way, armor follows the same concept. Um, your weapons and your armor, just that way you can get the extra bump of battle power you might need to get into content. By the way, let's go ahead and look into this. So we've got these here. Pick those four. Now, we've got these not at 100%. What can we do about that? Well, we have success boosters. Success boosters actually increase by that amount. The unsupported, 80, 90, 80, 90. But supported, 85, 95, 85, 95. We can go as high as a 20% booster. Now, 20% boosters right now are the highest, I believe. I think maybe the highest, absolute highest is 25. I personally haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure I remember someone mentioning a 25%, but I could be wrong about that. I might be misremembering. But this guarantees that everything hits. And to be honest, if this was super crazy expensive, I would 100% want this. However, it's my form sold to a malice of credit. Those, I didn't spend very much money on. These 10% boosters, however, are pretty common to get a hold of. You can at least, bare minimum, get two weekly. And we're going to show off how you can do that right now. So if we head over to our boy Travis, right over here, he actually has an item exchange. And once a week, you can exchange 10 gold prim swords. I'm sorry, twice a week, excuse me. You can exchange 10 gold prim swords. Oh, I'm even wrong about that. It's three times a week and it showed you up in the top right hand corner. I thought it was only twice a week. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But you can exchange three gold prim swords, or sorry, 10 gold prim swords for a 10% augmentation success boost. This is the reason why I don't put your use um, gold swords in my upgrade process because they're better used in that location. That is multi-weapon, not all augments. So let's go ahead and get the augments we want onto our weapon. Find our soul. We can always just type in soul here and alt there. Bam. So now we've got everything we're looking for. Oh, you know, I guess technically I didn't talk about it. Um, if you include more than one type of soul, by the way, it doesn't let you use both. It does still just put them in the same category, so there's no point. In case that was a question anyone might have had. But we grab our soul, we put it in proper order. We're going to pop a 10% because we know that these two here, even if they fail, we have plenty more to go with. And they're, I mean, honestly, this is a placeholder anyway. And actually, Alt is also a placeholder, funny enough. Um, I haven't decided if I'm actually going to use this weapon that hardcore in the first place um, to put the more expensive soul on it. And everything went through. Nothing failed. We got a four out of four weapon. It's got our four augments on it. And we are good to go. Now, there is one other thing I'm going to go ahead and show off here, along with a slight trick. It is kind of a market board trick, so market board boys are going to be pissed off me about this one. But you do have the option on here to exchange augment capsules. Now, augment capsule exchange basically is allowing you to take smaller augment capsules and put them in to make bigger augment capsules. So let's take, for example, we had a bunch of stamina ones. We wanted to make a stamina two capsule. Well, with 10 stamina one capsules, five photon quartz and five monotite, you can make a stamina two capsule, meaning that if you wanted to get, let's say, you know, enough to get um to get stamina to at 100 percent it would cost us 100 stamina one capsules 50 quartz and 50 monotite now some of the other ones are more powerful so things like gigas might um the dread keepers and the one i actually am not going to burn at the moment that you have access to is ale domina ale domina is just flat potency with hp and pp and it costs a whopping five of each note plus five photon quartz and five trinite per one that you make. So that does mean that you would need to use 50 to make 10. <laughs> and you can just, if you already know how many you're making, you can just you know, put as many of these as you want in here. It's going to only make 10 of them overall. So you'll only be able to make 10. It only uses that specific amount. And you are good to go. And then just to make sure to show you guys really quick, it didn't use any extra trinite or photon quartz. But yeah, so let's say I personally wanted Dital Soul. Now, I could go onto the market 
Actually, I will show you guys specifically. We know that Dital Soul 1s, at least 10 Dital Soul 1s, will help us make a Dital Soul 2. We know Dital Soul 2 right now is worth... Oh, that's Dal's Soul. <laughs> Let's make sure we get the right soul first before I show this off and inevitably get blamed for ruining everything. We know Dital Soul 2 is about 45k a piece, meaning 10 of these will put us at about 450k. However, if we happen to have the extra resources, we can look at Dital Soul 1. Dital Soul 1 is about 2k, 2 to 4k overall. Now, as long as we stay under the 4k mark and we purchase 100 of these, we can make Dital Soul 2s, we make 10 Dital Soul 2s, or less than the cost of just buying the Dital Soul 2. Now, granted, you are still spending the resources, which is basically making up the extra bit of money, but you can save yourself some Meseta by simply purchasing Dital Soul 1s to combine into Dital Soul 2s. Now, realistically, if people wanted to make sure that this wasn't like crazy different in profit, you would set all these to, you know, 4.5K a piece. Now, they wouldn't make the full amount from this. It would actually just screw them over overall. And again, realistically, the fact these are cheaper is totally fine because you're still having to invest resources into it. But now that I've said it, I'm sure that's going to change up in price as soon as this video comes out. So, you know, I apologize ahead of time. Hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of it somewhat. That really about covers everything, though, when it comes down to uh, augmentation. There's not much else I really have to tell you guys. Basically, augment, it's easier. It's more or less free damage nowadays. And even if you're trying if you're trying to hit that battle power cap, you absolutely need to do it. So if you haven't augmented already, I, I don't know how you've gotten into any content, but um, if you haven't. I mean, possibly, you know, you could be, you know, using your gear from base PSO too. But if you haven't augmented already, do it. It's fun. It's easy. It's way, way less punishing um, even just to fail augmentations than it was in base PSO too. If you get, anyway, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to toss it into the comments below. As always, like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with the content. Click on the bell icon to notify the videos as they go up, as well as community posts or join us over on Discord or follow me on Twitter for notifications via those two avenues. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out.